All right, so today I'm gonna to teach you how to solve the Megaminx. I'm gonna go through every single case and algorithm layer by layer to make it as simple as possible so that you can take it from this to this. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is of course, scramble it. Okay, so now that it's all scrambled, we can get this solve going. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do in this puzzle is solve the white star. So what I mean by that is there's these edge pieces that all need to be around this white center and need to correspond with the its corresponding center. So the edge needs to be between this. So for instance, I have one right here, which is white and purple. This is done correctly. This is more intuitive. So again, to move around this puzzle, I see for instance, there's a green and there's a white. Well, I need this to go right here. So I'm gonna obviously, I'm gonna bring it down over up so I can have it aligned to the green and I'm gonna bring it in. So now that's two. Same thing with the blue here. I say I need a blue right there. I'm gonna bring the blue down and I'm gonna bring it up. What this did is it also brought the yellow and the white, so I'm gonna bring that up. So now I've got four of the five, and now I gotta find the last one, which is right here. So I'm gonna bring this up. It might not be as it might not be that easy for you guys, uh, given the fact that it's been scrambled. I just got lucky in this case. And uh, and now congratulations, you have officially solved the first step. Okay. So the next step you're gonna to wanna to do in this puzzle is you're gonna to wanna to solve these corner pieces. I'm lucky enough to have a corner that's already in its correct place, but I'm gonna walk you through the other ones. So uh, let's go ahead and start with the white, green, and red. So I'm gonna look around the puzzle for a white, green, and red. I see a white, a green, and a red right there. So I need it to be right over here. So I'm gonna rotate this all the way around until I get it between the white, the green, and the red. So now I'm gonna hold this puzzle with the white right here, kind of facing down a bit. So notice how I did that. I have the white, green, and the red. I have the white, green, and the red right there. So I want this piece to go right there. In some cases, you're gonna have the piece where the white's facing up, to the right, or to the left. A little trick I've learned is whatever this color is, Given if it's the white going down, there's a little algorithm for that. But if it's going to be, you know, anything but the white up, you're going to go in the direction of the top cube. So for instance, this green is right here. You're going to go in the direction of the green. So you're going to go U prime, L prime, U, L. Now it's in place. So now you have that Awesome cube. So now we have two in a row. Let's move on to the next one. So we have green, purple, and white. So we're going to find green, purple, and white, which is right there, all the way back here. So we're going to go ahead and bring this one all the way around. If I can even get this thing puzzle to work. So again, this is going to be very similar. And again, with my white kind of down here, I want this piece to only travel this distance. Notice that the purple is here again. It's gonna to go to the right. So again, it's gonna be U prime, L prime, U, L. And notice that it's L, R. So in this case, when I'm holding the cube with the center bar right there, this is always gonna be left this is always going to be right. There's not gonna be a front face, and this is going to be the upper, okay? So moving right along. So we have purple, yellow, white. Purple, yellow, white, right there. So let's go ahead and bring that around. And you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and, and, uh, and make this to where the white face is actually gonna be up. Just show you just a different algorithm. So we have white right here. So this is gonna be a very easy um, solution, but it, you know, it might require doing this algorithm two or three times. So you'll take it, again, put the cube down, so and the, not, you know, the white won't be at the bottom, this red will in this case, so hold it like that. 
And you don't have to actually do anything with the puzzle, but just this. So again, with the right right here, and the upper right here, you're gonna go R, U, R prime, U prime. R, U, R prime, U prime. R, U, notice how it aligned, R prime, and then U prime. And now it's in place. It's right where it needs to be. Notice how I didn't move it around and do all these crazy tricks. It's just literally one algorithm holding it with that white face up. And that's only going to happen when the when you're trying to get this white spot and the white face is, is facing up. If it's to the left or the right, you don't have to worry about that. So it looks like the last one we have right here is the yellow, blue, and white. So yellow, blue, and white right there. This one's easy to move. So now it's going to go to the left because see the yellow is up top and the yellow is right there. So let's go ahead and try it. So we're going to go U, R, U prime, R prime. And it's in place. And there you have it. A completely solved top layer. Okay. So now that we have the top layer um, completely solved and it's all the uh, edges are aligned to the centers that it corresponds, it's time to focus on the edge pieces here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip this puzzle to where I'm not focused on the top anymore. I'm gonna rotate it to where I'm only really focusing on this layer, right below it, or right above it, I should say, in this case. Not this layer at all, or this top layer now, but again, I'm focusing on these centers. So what I'm gonna do is look around, and, I, and I'm trying to do this, to get any piece around here that looks, that, that needs to be in between the purple and the yellow, or in this case, you know, like the blue and the yellow, I need to find this edge piece. So again, not focusing so much on the bottom or these upper ones, I'm gonna be, you know, I, so I can obviously, I can do anything I want around here. I'm not gonna interrupt the puzzle at all because I only have these solved. I'm gonna go ahead and look around for the yellow and the blue little edge piece, which is right back here. So I'm gonna move it around until I see it. So now I have the blue edge piece and the yellow. I obviously don't have it right here because I need this yellow to be aligned with the center because I'm going to be rotating it in place. So holding it like this, so again, I have the, you know, this little bottom yellow piece or this bottom white piece or white face. Um, and again, this is going to be the shared center bar with my left and my right and my upper. I'm going to be performing this algorithm. I'm going to be moving this to the left, so it's going to be a U move, because I want this to go to the right. So it's going to be U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, L prime, U, L. Now it's in place. Notice how I didn't have the whole. I don't have to hold the cube. I can leave it like this because everything I need to do is going to be just the L, R, and upper. I'm not focusing on the on this like bottom piece or any other pieces. I'm just focusing on this, and you can essentially do that throughout most of this cube. Um, now I'm looking for the blue and the red. So blue and the red is all the way back here. So I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this around, and now I have it lined up to where I need it to be. So it's blue's right there. I need it to go to the right. So I'm gonna do another U move to get it away to the left. So holding it like this, again with a shared bar, I'm gonna be doing U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, L prime, U, L. And now that's in place. So now we have one, two, three in place. Well, in this case I have four in place because I happen to have that one in there already. Now it's time to find the green and purple, which is right here. So I'm gonna bring it down in this case, it's going to go to the uh, left. So I'm going to have to do a U prime move to get it away to the right. So again, holding it like this, to where my white's kind of, to my white is you know right here, and I'm only worried about the R, the L, and the upper move. I'm going to be doing a U prime, L prime, U, L, U, R. U prime, R prime, and there you have it. 
So now I've got this top layer done, as well as the corresponding edge pieces all the way around this puzzle. Again, we're not worried about these faces at all. At, you know, so we're going to be moving on, on from this point. Okay, so now that we've solved this first layer, and uh, now we have the edges to go with it, now it's starting to kind of take some shape. Again, we're going to be focusing now on um, solving the edge pieces between this uh, lower layer center and the upper layer. I call it bunny ears. Someone else can call it whatever they want. Um, essentially, I'm focusing on, if I'm looking at it like this, where I'm holding this bar right here, and I have these two centers right here in the bottom, I want these two edges and this little center. Um, so I focus on the ears and the kind of the corresponding center. So I guess it doesn't make sense to call it bunny ears, but who cares? It's what I've always known, and I'm sticking to it. So with that said, let's go ahead and look around. What I like to do is try to find, you know, anything that has a kind of a starting. Um, so in this case, I'm looking for like an orange and purple or green and yellow, and I see green and yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and just bring that down. So for whatever reason, it's just what works for me. I always start with the left side of this edge, and I work my way to the right. And I'm only, again, I'm only focusing on these three pieces. In that order, though, for this little edge, center, edge. So in this case, I'm going to bring it down to where I have the uh, edge pieces, so the green and the yellow. So that's incorrect. Or that's incorrectly, not incorrect. <laughs> So now I'm going to be focusing on finding the green, yellow, and blue uh, corner piece. It's going to go right here. So I see uh, this is right here. And I want to now focus on making it to where it's going to be, be right here. Because it's, it's going to be very similar to the earlier moves when I'm bringing pieces in. Because the only difference is now, instead of this being my bottom, this is kind of my bottom. So I'm going to be bringing this piece in to where it's right here. So it's only traveling this distance. And my green is right there, my blue is right there, and now it's time to bring this piece to where it's in place. So, I, so again, green is up top, and I want this to go downstairs, down there. If the yellow is up top, it would be the algorithm like I showed you. So again, we're going to be doing green right here, so it's going to be traveling to the left. So it's going to be U, R, U prime, R prime. Now it's in place. And this just so happened to solve, it doesn't always happen like this, but I happen to have my other piece in place. So now I have the whole completed piece, and now I'm done. Green is no longer a worry. So now I'm not going over here, I'm just traveling like this. I'm rotating the cube to where I have a new bar, and I have pink. So now I'm going to be looking for the pink and the blue. Not pink and red, pink and blue. So, because again, it makes sense to me and I'm sticking with what I know, or what I feel comfortable with. So I'm bringing it in place right there. So now my, my pink and my uh, blue are in place. Now I'm looking for the blue, red, and pink, which is right here. I'm bringing it down again towards that short distance. And again, now that I have a new, I'm, it's rotated differently now, and my red's over here, going to go to the right so it's going to be a u prime move so again it's going to be u prime l prime u l and now it's in place now it's time to focus on this other little uh edge piece here so now it's looking for the pink and the red pink's right there in the red let's go ahead and bring it in bring it down a bit so it's kind of like putting an edge in place. You know, if you can't connect the pink, connect to the red, because it's going to go right there anyways. And now focusing on where this face is, is up like that, you're going to be doing it to where you're going to be moving it away. So what we did in the prior steps, if the edge needs to go away, it's going to be, again, an L prime move. So it's going to, or a U prime move. So it's going to be U prime, L prime, U, L, U, R, U prime, R prime. And now it's in place. So now we have the green section, the pink section. Now it's time to move on to the tan section. I will make note that this step, these steps are pretty repetitive until you get to the last layer. So, I mean, I'm going to do, to make this as, as, you know, this solve 
or this tutorial as concise as possible, I'm going to go through all the steps because, again, I feel it's helpful. But if you want to skip ahead, you can. It's, again, a very, you know, you know systematic thing where you're doing the same thing over and over again um, until you get to the last layer. There's a few tricks to, uh, to worry about. Uh, but let's go ahead and keep moving on. So we're looking for the tan and the red, which is right there. So now I'm going to move this piece you know, up a bit, over, down, over in place. So now my tan and my red piece are in place. I'm looking for the tan, red, and green, which is right here. So I'm bringing this down. So we're now, this is my new section. So I'm bringing it down to this place. Green's right there. So I'm obviously moving in the direction of the green. So it's going to be U prime, L prime, U, L. And that's in place. Super easy. Now I'm looking for the tan and the green edge piece, which is right here. So now I'm going to be bringing it to where it's over the green because I can't put it over the tan. And I'm going to be doing, again, what I've done each time. This is going to the left. So it'll be a U prime move. So holding it like this. So where this is my R, this is my L, this is my U. It's going to be U prime, L prime, U, L, U, R, U prime, R prime. And now that's all in place. So again, notice that everything's intact still. Tan, pink, green. Now it's time to go to the blue. So I'm looking for blue and the green. Well, I have the, I have the uh, blue and the green piece right here. So I'm going to be rotating it around. So yeah. So now that I have the blue and the green piece right there, I need to find the uh, blue, green, and purple piece, it's edge, or corner piece that's going to go right there, which is right here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring this up. And now focus on this. Notice when I move this, I have to be mindful of bringing this back down. So I'm going to move this up. I'm going to bring it out. And I'm moving this piece back in. Not to disturb my finished section right there. So now I can take this and I can move it into the section. Now blue is to my left. So I'm going to move this. It's going to be a U move. So it's going to be, again, it's going to be U, R, U prime, R prime. And now that's in place. So now, last but not least, for this is going to be the putting this edge piece right there. I'm going to be aligning it with the blue for the blue and the purple. And I'm going to be, again, with the shared center, left, R, U. I'm moving this away. So it's going to be a U move. So it's going to be U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, L prime, U, L. And that's all done. And now we have the last section. Okay, so in this last section, it's a little bit tricky. Um, it's very similar, though, to the sections that you just did. But the biggest problem here is that you don't want to disrupt what you the, the, the progress you've made. So the first things first is you want to find, again, in my case, I always go for the left of it first. So I'm looking for the purple and the orange piece. And I'm going to bring it down. It might be somewhere else, but either way, focus on getting this one edge in place. Now we're going to focus on getting this corner piece in. Let's find it first. So we're looking for the blue or the orange, purple, and, and yellow, which is going to be right here. So we're going to move this kind of in place. It's going to be moved in a second, but I want this to go right here. But if you move it, if you do the same thing where you bring it down and you bring it over, you're going to misalign that and it's all going to be screwed up and you're going to continually mess the puzzle up. So what you're going to want to do is, again, bring this out of place. So, so it's not in that rotation. Put it like that so it's out of the way. And take this and just move it to where it's over this piece. So if you're, this is where it's correct. Now you're going to move it into an incorrect placement. And now you're going to focus on solving this. So now the puzzles, you're just rotating it slightly differently. So when you're finished, you're going to just rotate it back in place. So again, I'm misaligning it. I'm bringing this piece to where it needs to drop in here. And now I can do the algorithm that I always do. So orange is up top and orange is here. So I'm going to move it to the left, which is going to be a U move. So focusing on the U move, it's going to be U, R, U prime, R prime. So now it's in place. 
Notice how I didn't mess up anything else. And if I were to stop right here, I could just move it back in place. So now I have this is all done. And now I'm looking for orange and yellow. So what you'll notice here is that this yellow piece and this orange piece are right here and it needs to be right there. So this is a little bit tricky, but focusing on not disrupting this solve section you've already done, you're gonna move this piece simply up, over, bring this back down. Cause you're gonna to wanna to get this piece out and this piece back in place. Now there's, I'm sure there's algorithms to do this. Again, this is gonna be something that just works for me. But I like to do is take it to where I'm gonna be bringing it back in place or bringing it over a little bit. I'm gonna rotate this around to where I get it to where I can align this thing back in. I'm gonna align it up, bring it over, and I'm bringing this back down. Again, I didn't disrupt any of these solve sections I just did. And now I have it to where this is uh, relatively in place. But now I'm gonna be focusing on again bringing it to a misalignment. So this is already solved. And I need this to be right there. I'm gonna be bringing it up one notch. And I'm gonna be focusing on getting this piece right there. So if I were to look at it like this, I need it to be right here anyway. So I know that it's gonna to go to the left because it's already on the solve section. And I'm gonna treat this, even though it doesn't look, doesn't look right, I have to misalign it. So I'm gonna be focusing on going left and not right. So it's gonna be a U move. And because of that, it's gonna be U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, L prime, U, L. So it doesn't look right, but it's all solved. And then you go ahead and bring it down, and now it's in place. Notice that it's this is done, this is done, this is done, this is done, and this is done. From this point, it's all about the corners. So now that we've again solved this little uh, section right here, now we're focusing on taking it to the next level, the next level, and um, solving these pieces right here just these corners for now. So what we're gonna do is let's just pick one to see if there's any that's already solved. So this one's already solved. So green, purple, and blue, this is in place. We can move on from there. So let's go ahead and look for the pink, red, and, and kind of this cream color, which is right back here. So I'm gonna go ahead and, well, it's, actually, I'm gonna start somewhere else because I'm gonna be putting a piece in here anyways. Um, Let's go ahead and find one. Let's just go up top here. So let's go ahead and do the cream, blue, and, and green. All right, so cream, blue, and green, right there. Well, blue is to the top, so you know it's gonna go right, which is gonna be a U prime move. So it's gonna be U prime, L prime, U, L. Not really too difficult, is it? It's all in place. So let's go ahead and focus on the green, orange, and yellow piece. So now we have this. Green's up top right here. So it's going to be a U prime move again because it's going to the top. So it's going to be U prime, L prime, U, L. Now it's in place. What else do we have? It looks like they're all gray, so I have to start moving things out of here. So I need this piece out. So I'm just going to pick any one, and I'm going to just treat it like it's, I'm going to treat this piece as if it needs to go right there. I'm going to replace it for now. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go U, R, U prime, R prime. So now I have that piece out, which means I can move it to where it needs to go. So I'm looking for the red, cream, and, and pink. Well, the pink is right here. So I'm going to go to the left, which is going to be a U move. So it's going to be U R, U prime, R prime. And now it's in place. And it looks like last but not least is gonna be this bad boy right here. So purple is up top. Hey, finally got one that I can actually do a slight different variation of. So it's gonna be, again, focusing on the R, L, and U. Well, in this case, all you have to worry about is just R and U. But knowing this piece needs to go right there, you're gonna perform this algorithm with again, the with this bar, it needs to travel from here to here. It seems it needs to flip upside down. So we're gonna be doing the R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, 
and it's in place. So now we have the white bottom here and most of this is taking shape. We've got the corner piece and now what's next is to solve the edge piece that links these pieces together. Okay, so very similar around the puzzle. Just again, just how you hold a cube differently. Now that we're not worried about the bottom layer or this kind of this bottom middle layer, we're gonna focus on just these layers right here. It's just this upper middle layer and the pieces that connect it. So the center and the center. So we're gonna look around for a center that, uh, let's see, I'm gonna start with this one, which is orange and green. And I see orange and green right there. So I'm gonna bring it around. And it's again, very similar to what you've already done. Nothing's changed. It's just set for the orientation of the cube. So again, this is gonna go, since the green's right there, I need it to go to the left. I'm taking it to the right, which is again, gonna be a U prime move. So it's gonna be U prime, L prime, U, L, U, R, U prime, R prime. And now that's in place. So let's go ahead and, and, and move on from here. So I see the green and pink, green and pink. I'm gonna move it to where it's aligned with the pink. And since it's gonna to go to the right, because it needs to go to the left, it needs to fall to the left, it's gonna be another U prime move. So it's gonna be U prime, L prime, U, L, U, R, U prime, R prime. And it's in place. So now we're moving right along. Let's go ahead and, and see what else we can solve here. So I see a, since I don't wanna move pieces out, I don't have to, I see a blue and a cream right here. So I'm gonna move this place, move this in place because I want this piece out. So might as well double up on a move. Again, it's gonna go to the left because it needs to fall to, to the left of me. It's gonna go to the right. So it'll be a U prime move. So it'll be U prime, L prime, U, L, U, R prime, or R, I can't even speak today, <laughs> U prime, R prime. And again, all these algorithms are obviously down here below, so if you need to see them, um, sometimes just disregard what I say because um, I may fumble over my words. So in this case, I have it over here. I need this edge piece to go right there, which is to the right, so I need to go to the left, which is a U move, so it'll be U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, L prime, U, L. And now it's in place. So it looks like all of the edge pieces are solved, leaving it just this last layer. So if you followed along this point and you're already to this point where you have just this last layer to solve, congratulations. Let's get cracking. Okay, so contrary to what you've been doing um, before in the Mega Minx and focusing on the R and the L and the upper, when you're solving this top layer, it's all about keeping the front face. So having a true left, a true right, a true upper, and a true front. So let's go ahead and focus on just that, okay? So there's going to be in this, you know, orienting the, you know, all the edges here, meaning that you're not really worried about these uh, edge pieces being in the correct, you know, alignment to their centers, you just want them all to be there because we can, or, you know, we can permeate that later. So you're going to have, you know, I think four different cases. You're going to have, you know, one where it's either going to be just one. You're going to have three um, cases where it's going to be, um, you're going to have like all three up here. You're going to have this other case where it's like this, where you have like kind of an arrow where you have like this piece right there and it's arrowed out, where you have all five solved. You shouldn't have any other, other situations like that. Well, since we have the arrow piece like this, um, I'm gonna teach you how to solve that one first. Then I'll go ahead and wrap it around and I'll make sure I, I solve all of the cases for you so you, you can fully understand uh, the algorithms associated with those different cases. So in this case, I have the arrow now focusing on the on the uh, on having a face, I want this arrow to face basically like it's going to be pointing like to the right. So this is the front face now. This is my top left and right. With the arrow facing 
to the right over here to this right facing cube or right facing face I came in cube give me a break Brandon <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and perform this algorithm right here so it's gonna be F R U R prime U prime F prime and they're all solved well, at least not all solved all the stars are there all right so another case you might see is uh having three you know right like this having one two three in a row and they might, and they might be down here but you're what you're going to want to do is rotate them to where these pieces if i can even rotate it are in the upper left hand corner here so the center piece needs to be facing upper left and they're all just kind of in that cluster up here so again with this front face like that so we got the front right left and upper you're going to perform this algorithm f r u r u prime r u r prime u prime f prime and now they're all all the stars are aligned okay so in some cases you're going to have uh, a single um, just edge piece here. Um, in this case, you're going to want to perform just this algorithm. Um, I don't like to keep it in the bottom here. I move it just to where it's skewed slightly to the left. Having this be in the front, left, right, and upper, I go ahead and perform this. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. What that did is put it in the place where I have the three right here. I'm going to rotate it to where I have it all facing the upper left hand corner as before. And I'll go ahead and show you all of this again. So it's going to be again focusing on the F, R, L, and upper. It's going to be F, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. All the stars are in place. All right, so now that we've solved the top, you know, star right here, now it's time to permeate the edges so they're all in the correct, you know, location. So we're, you know, the gray and the orange, gray and the blue, gray and the cream, gray and the pink, so on and so forth are all aligned. You're gonna have three different cases when it comes to this. The first one you're gonna have is where you have an edge piece that's solved right here. And maybe one over here so it's not going to be connected it's just kind of out of the way the second one you'll have two edges as well but they'll be next to each other and the third case you'll have is just one edge piece and that's it so since i have this case to where i have the edge piece uh, facing me right here and one to the right up here and then when i say that it's because i want you to hold it like that so i want you know if it's like that i want you to align it to where to where you know one of these solved edges you can't do this one because this one's to the left so it needs to be this one so this one's going to be down and this one's going to be to the back right over here and this one's right here so again focusing on r moves l moves and u moves you're going to be performing this algorithm so it's going to be r u2 r prime u r u2 R prime and now they're all in their correct permutation or basically been permeated so they're now they're aligned with the centers voila the second case I have here um, I'm gonna be focusing on where I have like you know the two edge pieces that are basically aligned next to each other none of these other ones are aligned so how you're gonna want to hold this is you're gonna want to have one solved one facing you and one to the left right here so in this case, you're going to be holding it to where, if again, you're focusing on the, this is the front, right, left, and this is the upper, and you're going to do R, U, R prime, U, R, U two prime, R prime. And that didn't really change it, so we'll do it again. So we'll do R, U, R prime, U, R, U two prime, R prime. 
And in that case, it did solve it. So in some cases, you have to do these twice. Who knows? Um, it's the mystery of the Megaminx. So the last case we're going to have here is where you have one edge that's aligned. All these other ones are not aligned. And you just have the one. So again, you're going to want to have that one facing right there in front of you. And holding it with it in the front, focusing on the front right here, R, L, and, and U, you're going to want to do this algorithm. to be R, U2, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. You might need to do it twice. Actually, in this case, it brought it over. So I didn't say twice, sorry. Um, you're going to want to focus on the new, or, the new alignment it has now, which is these two edge pieces. So now you're mm -hmm. going to want to, again, move it to where... This is in place in the front, this is to the left, and now you're going to perform this algorithm, which I showed you before. So it's going to be focusing on R, L, and U, because this is the new orientation now. It's going to be R, U, R prime, U, R, U2 prime, R prime. And that went ahead and got them all in alignment. So now what's next is permutating the corners. Okay, so now that we have all the edges you know in the correct place now it's time to do the corners now you want the corners to be in the right spot and uh, what I mean is uh, they might not be in the correct you know placement but in the correct spot so meaning like this could be like gray this could be tan this could be pink it's in the correct spot but not placed correctly in this case I have a correct one and you'll have three different cases which I'll all can review all three of them and this one I happen to be um, having the solved corner here and one solved corner up here in the, in the upper right. Um, you'll al also have a situation where you have two next to each other. So you'll have one right here, maybe one right here, or just one. Since I have all, since I have this case already in place, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to solve it. So what you're going to want to do is hold it to where the corner piece is facing you, and the other one is going to be in the upper right, and there's a quick setup move here. Um, I'm going to be moving this piece, this R piece, up. So now that I'm focusing on this, now that I've, again, now that I've set this piece up to where it's like that, I'm going to now perform the algorithm at hand. It's going to be L prime, U, R, U prime, L, U, R prime, U prime. Now I'm going to be moving it back in place. R prime. Now all of these corner pieces are in place correctly. And they're not, you know, they're in the correct spots, but not always in the correct placement. All right. So the second case we have here is where you have one solved corner here and another one right here. So notice how it's in the right spot, but just not flip correctly. This is still correct for this salt for this for this move. So again, holding it to where you have the corner piece solve one facing you and the other one just here off to the bottom right. Again, focusing on left, right, upper. You're going to perform this. L prime, U, R, U prime, L, U, R prime, U prime. And that didn't change anything, so we'll do it again. So again, holding it down to the bottom and down, this one, this one to the bottom, this one to the bottom right. Do it all over again. Or be like, sorry, uh, backwards here. <laughs> L prime, U, R, U prime, L, U, R prime, U prime. And now they're all in place. They're all in the correct spots, not always in the correct placement. Okay, so the last case you're going to see is where you're going to have one single corner piece in place. Everything else is not in the correct placement. And you're going to want to go ahead and do is just pick any of the two algorithms. I would say the easiest one that doesn't require you to like misalign a piece. So let's just go ahead and hold it to where this piece is here in the front. And we're going to go um, L prime, U, R, U prime, L, U, R prime, U prime. So in that case, now I've got the solved one here and here, so I'm going to go ahead and hold it to where mm -hmm. this piece is here in the bottom. This is to the right, and I'm going to do it all over again. So I'm going to go L prime, U, R, U prime, 
L U R prime U prime. And now it's all in the correct spots. Okay, so now we're on the last step. Congratulations for getting this far. Um, this one's a little bit tricky, um, but it's not at the same time. Very basic move you've done plenty of times, only it's just being, it's being held differently. So instead of focusing on the last layer like this, I like to go ahead and do it like this. So now you're focusing on picking like an, an, you know, an edge piece here. Like I'll pick this face right here. So green and blue. Since this is the first one I can see, it's not a line. So now I'm going to be holding it to where <clears throat> this is my right. This is my left. This is my, f my you know, kind of my little uh, upper piece. And this is my down. And understanding that is going to make things a lot simpler. So again, down, upper, right, left. And it's always where you're looking at this unsolved edge piece. Now, I'm going to be performing this algorithm over and over again until these pieces are aligned. I'm going to finish the algorithm and then move it, and I'll show you what I mean. So, we're going to go ahead and hold it like this, and we're going to go R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime. So, I finished the algorithm. Now, this has been solved. So, I'm going to hold it like this. And I'm going to be rotating this piece over. See, it's it's still that one solved. It's in the correct place. So I'm going to move it over again. In some cases, you might have them all unsolved. In this case, I only had two. Now this is in place here. I'm going to perform the algorithm again until this one's all solved. It's going to be R U R prime U prime R U R prime U prime R U R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime. In this case, it solved it. I bring these pieces down, and now you have a solved Mega Minx. I really want to stress, though, the end was, was quicker for me. Just make note, though, that if you had more pieces to solve, essentially, you keep doing the algorithm until it's solved, finish the algorithm itself. So if it's R, U, let's say you get to R, U, R prime, and it's done, still do U prime. It's important you do that. And then rotate. And if you, if you come to a piece that's already finished, just rotate it again. If it's finished, rotate it again. If it's unsolved, do it again. R, U, R prime, U prime, R, you know, until it's done. And the puzzle will solve itself. So with that said, Hopefully that um, hopefully this tutorial was helpful. Um, I know this puzzle can be a bit overwhelming because it's just so big, but once you understand like the functionality, it's it's again it's more like a three by three. A lot of the algorithms are the same, and uh, it's also much better to get a cube that's easier to solve. Like this cube rotates pretty well. I have some ones that are very poor at rotating. Um, so yeah, so hopefully um, this this puzzle does or the solve makes sense. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the link. Also, if you're new to this channel or this is the first video you watched or whatever, please hit subscribe. And um, with that said, happy cubing.